Hello everyone, Mario the Smash Bro here and welcome back to Plants of Zombies Garden Warfare 2. Today I'm here with Luigi the Smash Bro and we're going to hey be exploring all the cool oh, new stuff that's come with the DLC. Marigold. There's a Marigold. I really could not care yes, less. Do update to the Marigolds. They okay. um, apparently have this crazy knockback thing. Alright, let's go and have a look then. So, we were going to explore the town hall, but apparently not, because the Marigold can do cool... Did, Ow! Did okay, it can run me over. There, we've officially showcased the Marigold by being run over. Come on, let's Pretty go. Pretty much, lol. Okay, we don't, <laughs> anyway, we, we so don't care about that. with this um, new update, some crazy stuff's happening, including this seagull and this key here. So, you can see I've got 26 rainbow stars at the moment, and if you talk to this seagull... Yep. Give me your stars. Give me your stars. Yep. Give me your stars. Yep. So if you give him seven of your normal stars that you get from completing all these missions, he will give you one rainbow star, which you can use to go and open these chests over here. The one on the left costs ten stars, ten rainbow stars. The one in the middle costs fifty, and the one on the right costs thirty. I'm not going to be opening those just yet because there are apparently other cool new chests that you can open a bit later on in some cool new places. So for now, we're going to trade the twenty-five stars for this key. Get the key. We now have a key. Got you now a little icon of a key above your head. Oh, okay, you can, so now you can we see can it as well? Yep. Awesome. All right, so, so we're going to take go this down. Sewers, and we sewers. can find out what's going on. So this key is going to be unlocking something special. Hopefully. I wonder what that may be. Let's do Flag of Power. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to get a few kills on the way just to um, boost up my meter, my crunch mode. All right, cool. Okay, cool. Ooh, blah, 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 blah. Also, I'm just protecting you since you're a fragile little imp. Yeah, or a okay. little shrimp. So we got Wait. this guy down here, um, Ruxes, Ruxes, Ruxes Bazaar. Uh, right, so let's talk to, talk to Rux. We're fetching data, waiting for a, oh God. For a response. Wait, what? wait, wait. Go, go out quickly. Yep. Okay. Um, wait, talk give me a to sec. Rux now. I'm, talk to, I'm talking to him. Oh my God! <laughs> Your big fat... Everything yeah, is in my way. I can see the big mustache. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, that's what exactly what happened to me as well. Yeah, alright, so you can see that he sells kind of some pretty cool stuff. He sells this rubbish stuff for a thousand coins. He sells special stuff for 250k. And legendaries for 500k. So we've got the infinite striped propeller, the torch topper, and the scrumptious panda cap. Those are all the good items. And then a heel wheeze and bong choice that no one cares about. He so when I did it, he sold me the infinite striped propeller, the torch topper, and the scrumptious wedge slide. Okay. Sides. So I'm going to get the scrumptious panda cap just while I'm here because I have the money for it and I want the scrumptious items. Are you going to get the um going to get the legendary? I'm not going to bother about the legendaries just yet. Maybe we can look at those a bit later on. But just, do you want me to do a showcase of it since I'm playing as a scientist? A showcase of what? The legendary item. Oh yeah, yeah sure. Okay, we are back guys and I am showcasing this new legendary customization right here. It's called the uh Bl torch Bernie? top t t yeah, that torch top that th that it. thing. Okay, just stand still for a second. Uh, zoom in on your face. So there Shot you go. Off from all angles. <laughs> Spinning around. I can jump above so you can actually see what it's like. It's kind of, if I stand in it, I will burn my feet and instantly die. No, that's, wait, wait, that's wait. just, it's wait, just a prank. Uh, if you get a kill as this thing, oh, we, we'll be able to find something to kill probably. We'll down. find something to kill a bit later, but for yeah. that, we're going to head down into the deeper part of the sewers. Into um, the Nomi area. If you area. recognize this place, this is where you get the gnomish perspective from in the um, first update. There's also usually a chest there, I think. Not too sure. Maybe. There's nothing and in there at the moment, so... And you just so jump off the cliff! Whee! If you fall off... <laughs> right, so that way's all of the crazy gnomey stuff with all the puzzles and free stuff, but we are not heading there. We are heading here, oh, it's a new key. to the left. Oh, wow, you b busted the lock. Yeah, busted will the it, lock with my, I, my, my tiny key Whee! thing. Can oh, you push it around? Me. Dramatic music intensifies the hype! <laughs> what is on the other side of the portal? Let's go and find out! Wait, you can only enter the portal alone! <laughs> Alright, so we have just entered into the no the trial of Nomus. Unfortunately, we could not have Luigi on the call. Well, we can have Luigi on the call, but he's not able to join this as well. So I'm here alone, and we're going to explore this awesome dimension. This is so cool. I've seen some pictures and things of this. There was a trailer that came out that showed us all sorts of cool stuff. I don't want to fall off there. The Secrets of Secrets. We've got a new achievement for entering this area. So there are, there are going to be a bunch of puzzles that we're going to be attempting to solve. We're probably not going to be able to solve all of them. It's a big area, huge realm that has all sorts of cool, crazy stuff, and there are going to be chests and things that contain some stuff, apparently. What is down here? I'm sure that... Oh, okay, so there's a big portal there. Is there anything that I can... Can I actually get down there? So if I jump down there, we enter this, into this area here. Hmm. You can spawn bots and things. Oh, chest. Can we open that? Yeah, we can open this chest. We can just open this chest for free, so let's open it. What do we get? 
the unmeltable ice cream machine. So all the chests in this area are completely free, I'm hoping. Apart from the ones that have star things on them. Star locks. These ones you can just open and get the modest lighting solution. We're getting some backyard items from here as well. There's a glowy thing over here. I think this is going to be one of those weird puzzle things. Activate that. Um, yeah, this is going to be a weird puzzle. I'm not going to be able to figure out how the heck to solve that. Don't exactly know how that works. So maybe we can look at that another time. When I actually know what the heck to do. I probably won't end up doing it on camera because I don't usually do one of those 100% puzzle runs and things because I'm not, I'm not going to figure it out. We can just explore the dimension a bit. Let's head back in the portal. Whee! Right, so I know that there are a couple of gnomes in this dimension as well. Obviously it's the gnome dimension, so there are going to be a couple of gnomes for us to have a look at as well. So what is up here? Let's head this way. This is a really awesome dimension. Really cool graphics. Really cool floaty islands and things as well. Alright, so we've got some gnomes here. We're going to enter up these staircases and head up to see what we have this way. So we have another door here that we can unfortunately not go through because we need another key. But there is a chest over here. This chest probably will not contain a key, I'm assuming. It'll just have a backyard item. Sunflower shower. Okay, so we can't do a lot up here until we have the next key, so we're going to have to find a new place to explore. So let's head this way. Did this staircase actually lead anywhere, or is it just literally to... No, it doesn't actually lead anywhere, it just leads to nowhere. Whoop. Don't fall off. Do not fall off. If we fall off, we will die and we'll disappear off somewhere else. So instead of this being more of a DLC where they literally give you all the stuff, this is kind of a DLC where they unleash this whole new realm with a ton of new puzzles and things. The Ministry of Mystery welcomes you to the Trial of Gnomus. Only the very bravest of you will stand a chance of success. Beyond the trials, tests and traps await two great powers sealed away behind rainbow locks. The rainbow stars may be the key to the locks, but the keys grant passage to the trials. May the trials be forever in our favor. Tra -la -la. Okay, so he's basically just saying that there are a bunch of trials and things, we keys, places to unlock, a ton of puzzles, a bunch of places I'm not going to be able to figure out by myself, so get onto YouTube and then just literally use all those guides and things to figure out what the heck to do. What's up here? I saw a chest. Shiny chest. Shiny chest that gives me money, and what? Zombos Blue, another item. Whoop. Can't actually see where I'm going, because there's a thing in front of me. There's another door up this way. I wonder if there are any hidden chests that cost rainbow stars in this dimension. There might be. Let's jump up here. See if we can park our way. Oh, no, 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 okay. That's out of bounds. We're not meant to go that way. I'm sure we're not meant to go that way either. So this is just another door I can't get through, unfortunately. Where else can we go? There's another o location over there, so let's go and head that way to see what we can find. There's probably going to be another chest with more cool stuff. Maybe I should have opened a couple of chests, or at least one of the rainbow style chests, when I was at the town hall. I'm assuming I cannot just warp home. You have to actually return to the backyard, because this is not considered the backyard. This is actually considered a different mode. Not an actual game mode, but just a different location. Cool mushroom trees. I'm going to go and see what the mushroom trees have for me. Probably don't have anything, but they just look cool. I think it's a bit too far away to jump to. They're kind of just background items. You can see the mushroom trees there, though. There's some weird gravity. Oh, there's some gnomes in this location as well, so let's see if we can kill these guys. Oop. Maybe I shouldn't have picked an imp. I mean, while the imps are quick, they don't have very much health. Okay, kill the gnome. Okay, vanquish gnome hero. Gnome hero is down. We've killed the gnomes. We now have access to the gnome chest. What lies before us? Best lunch award. Or backyard items. There's another gnome there, but I can't see it because my best lunch award is in the way. Whoa. Let's go into our mech just so we don't die here. That would be incredibly annoying. That's something we can kill them quickly. Kill the gnome. Bzzz. Vanquish gnome hero. Done. 
So we can't really jump in this mech. No way, there's a path there. We'll just go around here and head to the next island, which is over there, which has a big red thing. I can see something red behind there. I'm guessing that's going to be another door. It'll probably be another door. Another door with another keyhole. Uh, yeah, it is. Another door with another keyhole. Are there any chests in this location? I don't think so. Okay, let's just get out of our mech. It's annoying me how incredibly slow it is. Alright, so I don't think there's much else here for us to explore. I mean, there's obviously a lot to explore, but I don't exactly know where to go and what to do in this place. Well, oop. If I knew what to do, I'd be able to show you guys. But I mean, I'm kind of just exploring this to see what we've got here. Alright, so this is an incredibly cool dimension, but I don't exactly know where I'm going and what I'm doing and things. So if there's anything I happen to find or anything I want to share, I'll be recording that, so I'll show you that for next video. So for now, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Plants and Zombies God Warfare 2. See you guys later.